Alright, what are we reviewing? <laughs> I can't remember. Mission Impossible 4, Ghost Protocol. So we saw this four weeks ago? Yes. It'll be even more when they see this too. Yes. So let's say just about a month ago. Oh my god. <laughs> More her thing than mine, but I love it. I too. feel like I enjoyed this movie more than she did, but oh my god. Wait, did you see it twice? <laughs> I saw it twice. Two days in a row. I went sa uh, that Saturday with my dad and my brother, and my brother's girlfriend. And then the next, I loved this movie so much. I literally told her, what was that, Saturday night? Yeah. I literally texted her Saturday night, I am taking you to the movies tomorrow, you have to see this. I went two days in a row to see this movie. I love Brandt. Right. Ethan Hunt and his team, consisting of William Brandt, who is played by Jeremy Renner, uh, Benji Dunn, who's played by Simon Pegg, and Jane Carter, who's paid, paid? Play, played by Paula Patton. I don't really know who she is, but she's been in other stuff. She was good. Yeah, she was she very was good. Really pretty. They were on a mission in the Kremlin in Russia. This, uh, most of this movie takes place in Russia, in India, and Budapest is where it starts. Zatkanish. 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 Shut up. That's the only thing that we learned from this movie, because the whole, maybe, first third of the movie is in Russia. And they speak Russian, they, like, 50% yeah. of the time. Zatkanish means shut up. It, no, it means just shut it. Just shut it, and then you're, it's like, clap it, clap it, clap it. Something, something like, like that is sorry. sorry. Some Russian guy. <laughs> I don't remember. Some Rush no, he's gonna be called some Russian guy from now on. Basically, they're hunting after bad guys, but they're cut off from all government help. Yeah, they have no government help. They're pretty much on their own, which is why it's called Ghost Protocol. Their their sector of the CIA was pretty much just deleted off the face of the earth. But Tom Cruise literally has to scale the side of this building, like thousands of feet in the air, with suction gloves. Yeah, it's literally like suction gloves. And this whole that whole time. I am like hyperventilating. We're sitting here clawing at the chair. I forgot to blink throughout this whole movie, so I'm like hyperventilating. He, he falls at one point. I know. Right? He like, just starts. He catches himself again. Oh. oh my god. But that whole movie, I was just flipping out. But he was my favorite character. I liked him more than Tom Cruise. Those yeah. of you who are Tom Cruise haters, watch this movie for Brant. Because, yeah. oh my god, he was awesome. Bonus review. A few weeks ago, I went and saw The Woman in Black with Aaron. If you don't remember Aaron, this is her! The Woman in Black. It is pretty much about this young widower who is played by Daniel Radcliffe, and he is a lawyer. Who he kind of—it's like when somebody dies, when all their, all their possessions are being handled and everything. He goes to the house and he starts clearing out this woman's house, and he's actually going to move into this house when he is done with, the business of dealing with this lady's death. And while he's there, but the and the village that the, that this house is in—it's really off by itself and it's separated by like a marsh and this little path that cuts through the marsh where the tide comes up and covers it every day and then it goes back down. But the people in this village are all very hesitant about even letting him go into this house because the whole aspect of the movie was there was a lady who went insane and her sister took her son from her and then her sister, her husband, and her son got in like their, their coach, their stage coach went into the marsh and he drowned. And then she killed herself, the mom did. And so she was haunting the house because of that, and any time somebody saw her, one of the kids in the village would die. In like the creepiest ways. And while Daniel Radcliffe is in the house, just she keeps popping up randomly. And the way that they filmed this movie, was so, it was so well directed. And it, it really relied on jump scares, where at first I was like, okay, it's a jump scare movie. But the way they had it set up, it's like they would focus on something and in the background, you would just see her move a little bit. And, but it would, you know how it takes people like a couple milliseconds to even notice that something is there? They would set up the soundtrack 
Like it wouldn't, like they wouldn't play a sound, it'd be completely silent, and then the second you would even notice her, they would play a sound, so it made it extra scary. Overall, it was a really good movie. I'd probably, I'd probably give it a four out of five. Yay, bye! bye. Goodbye!